Without the spark plug, there would be no internal combustion engine. There, I said it. The exact date of birth and father of the first real spark plug isn't known for sure. Some credit Edmund Berger with the invention as far back as 1839. John Joseph Etienne Lenore is credited with developing the first commercially successful internal combustion engine in 1858 and held the U.S. patent for the spark ignition system. Other spark intrigue and corporate drama involving such names as Bosch, Tesla, Champion, and Lodge occurred during the automotive industry's earliest days and led to rapid advancement in the spark ignition business. But for the most part, today's spark plugs look pretty similar to the originals. Those heady early days led many people to assume that development effectively ended when the first nickel electrode plug hit the street. Nothing could be further from the truth. Over the decades, ceramic improvements, electrode design, tip construction, and advancements in metallurgy have dramatically improved the life and performance of these relatively low-priced engine components. Those original plugs, designed for low-speed and low-compression engines, had a life expectancy of far less than 1,000 miles compared to today's premium plugs made with high-quality precious metals such as platinum, iridium, or ruthenium that are routinely expected to last for 100,000 miles or more. But what do these life cycles really mean to the consumer, the shop, and the engine? The extended life of premium plugs doesn't always ring true in real-life driving, where conditions may not be optimal for achieving the promised results. Experts say much of the problem stems from the continued refusal by many consumers to understand the importance of routine maintenance. With today's high compression engines regularly operating at over 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, even street cars subject their engine components to incredible stress. The old process of reading a spark plug is for the most part a lost art. Thanks to today's engine computers, engines are monitored constantly, with fine adjustments being made to spark rate and fuel flow. Today's version of reading a spark plug can actually give you an indication of how other components are functioning within the engine. Long life spark plugs, such as those made from platinum and iridium, perform at a lower heat range than copper spark plugs. Standard copper plugs are less conductive and tend to overheat in the high temperature combustion chambers in today's direct injection engines. Iridium's melting point is approximately 2,450 degrees Fahrenheit, although some claims are as high as 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is more than platinum. However, the overall longevity of these metals is far better than copper plugs. Spark plug manufacturers take their aftermarket cues from the vehicle OEMs who dictate plug design parameters. There has been incredible change over the past five years. From 2013 to 2018, 88% of vehicles that rolled off the OE assembly lines came with an iridium spark plug. Prior to that, for the previous 30 to 40 years, it was the complete opposite, with most cars coming with nickel plugs. Designs were adapted for both durability, the metal type, and performance, the tip design. Advancements in metal type allow manufacturers to develop tip designs they couldn't easily do before. Nickel plugs couldn't use a fine wire because it would wear out in as little as 5,000 miles. With a stronger metal like platinum, iridium, or ruthenium, fine wire designs allowed for a much better performing plug, giving more complete burn of the fuel in the engine. It's a partnership within the spark plug itself. Today's newer spark plug technology is typically an upgrade to old spark plug technology, either in durability or performance, and a legitimate replacement sales opportunity. In many cases, customers will notice immediate improvements in engine idle, stronger acceleration, or reduced exhaust fumes. Spark plugs don't have to have the same electrode configuration as the original plugs. However, replacement plugs should have the same thread diameter, pitch and length, same type of seat, and same reach into the combustion chamber. And of course, it's important to always follow the application listings to make sure your customers get their correct replacement plugs. Thanks for watching.